Star Wars 7x7 episode 2524. Hey, it's June 1st, so let's check in on what is going to be happening in the world of Star Wars storytelling this month. Punch it! Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So here we are, another monthly update on Star Wars storytelling and what is coming in the month of June. So there are generally 10 categories that we look at. There's not always anything particular to report for every single category, but we'll touch on all of them real quick, or at least real quick when it can be real quick. The comics one is actually rather long this time, but... Be that as it may. Start off with the big stuff, which is movie related. So, so far, still nothing since the announcement back in December of Rogue Squadron happening in 2023. <sighs> I mean, there's a co writer with Patty Jenkins on this movie, and we don't know who that person is yet. And Patty Jenkins, I'll remind you yet again, had said that. She wasn't going to reveal who it was, and I believe she said he's going to have his own moment. So she identified a gender with the he. So, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but we've gone six months now, just about, and not had any more information about this story. So we're due, you know. Fingers crossed, we're due. And I wouldn't necessarily expect anything from the Taika Waititi-driven one just yet, because that one is certainly further out. Um, you know, maybe a title at most, but he is still working on Thor Love and Thunder. So, yeah, he's got other things on his mind right now, I would imagine. So, Rogue Squadron seems like the likely thing where we'd hear something. So, yeah, you know, fingers crossed it's happening soon. On the live-action series front, the Andor series, as far as we know, is still filming, and, I mean, that should be wrapping up soon. They were already about two weeks in at the Disney Investor Day in December of 2020. They had started just after Thanksgiving. So, you know, we're approaching six months now, which, considering the breadth and depth of the series and the, you know, casting and the sets they're building and the creatures and all this stuff, like, we're, you know, right on track with where we should probably be finishing it, I would say. So I would expect an announcement for the end of Principal Photography on Andor to be coming sometime this month. Also shooting right now is the Kenobi series, and that's going to be going on for a little while, so I think it will be happening all the way through June. The Book of Boba Fett is supposedly all done, so they should be working on post-production for that. And I suppose if reshoots become a thing, like if they want to add a little bit, tweak a little bit here and there, then they'll have the opportunity to do that as well. And that'll be the major stuff on the live action front. Presumably they are getting Mandalorian Season 3 ready to go, so doing all the pre-production, all the pre-visualization stuff. And the Ahsoka series, you know, we still don't know about a showrunner for that, so you would imagine that the Mandalorian Season 3 would be the next one up. And then we could talk about Ahsoka and, you know, beyond that, who knows? But yeah, I think that's the order that we're looking at right now on the live action front. On the animation front, we've got the Bad Batch going on right now. And so every Friday we're going to get a new episode of the Bad Batch. And that seems like the big deal with animation. They are still, I guess you would call it animation in the sense that they are little animated clips and segments, but we've talked about them here and there on the podcast, these little animated snippets that they're making in support of the High Republic Publishing Initiative, introducing us to characters and concepts and that sort of thing, and those are ongoing on the Star Wars YouTube channel. And speaking of the High Republic, we can jump into books and say that Wave 2 of Phase 1 of the High Republic multimedia conglomerate epic storytelling initiative is happening and it is starting this month officially with the release of oh gosh uh <laughs> the rising storm by kevin scott and race to crash point tower by daniel jose older rising storm is an adult novel and race to crash point tower is a middle grade novel and they are coming out at the end of this month. In fact, four weeks from today on June 29th. And I believe, technically speaking, we're going to get something a little bit early 
from that storytelling perspective happening uh, as far as you know the launch of wave two with hidden danger part one which is coming out in star wars insider issue number 203 and that's the first of a two-part short story by justina ireland as far as audiobooks go we've got mark thompson narrating the rising storm when it releases later this month and so that's now two for two mark thompson seems to be the go-to guy for doing the audiobook narrations for the adult books in the high republic series and then, a little bit odd, Race to Crash Point Tower does not yet have an announced audiobook adaptation. There was one for A Test of Courage, which was the middle grade novel in Wave 1 of the High Republic Initiative by Justina Ireland, but for some reason they don't have it announced for Race to Crash Point Tower yet. I'm sure it's coming, but yeah, that's uh, a bit of a gap in our knowledge at this point. And on the comics front, we are also getting one of our first forays into wave two of the High Republic storytelling initiative because the High Republic series from Marvel is releasing issue number six. In fact, I think it's coming out tomorrow for pity's sake. So yeah, we're diving into wave two officially and the High Republic Adventures is putting out issue five this month, which would conclude its wave one run. And then with the regular, <laughs> if you will, line of Star Wars comic storytelling, well, that whole big War of the Bounty Hunters crossover event is happening and the official miniseries, not the alpha issue that came out last month, but the official War of the Bounty Hunters miniseries debuts this month with issue number one and then stories in the other titles in Marvel's Star Wars comics line are picking up the story and it's now I guess the second set of crossovers dealing with that so it'll be uh, let's see, um, uh, Bounty Hunters issue 13, like just the Bounty Hunters series that's ongoing, then the flagship title Star Wars number 14, Darth Vader number 13, and Dr. Aphra number 11, all of those tie into the crossover event. And then Star Wars Adventures number 5, the second series of those, is coming out as well that has nothing to do with <laughs> any of that stuff. Virtual reality, we don't have anything planned or expected necessarily, except maybe a little bit of news about when the new updates to Tales from the Galaxy's Edge will be hitting our consoles and uh, or you know, our headsets or however you want to put it. On the video game side, there isn't necessarily anything anticipated per se, but the E3 conference, which is a huge video game conference, is happening later this month from June 15th through 17th, and it's all online. There's no in-person version of it, but you would imagine that, considering Lucasfilm Games has ramped up their presence for 2021, and considering there are you know, a lot of rumors and you know, mini announcements of companies that are working on particular types of games, that it would make a lot of logical sense that Star Wars would have some kind of announcement coming out of E3. So we'll be looking carefully at that. And so what am I forgetting? Parks and merch. Parks and merch. So merch, nothing that we know of particularly that's happening. And since we don't have a movie coming out in December, then, you know, we're not necessarily looking at a Force Friday kind of event, but maybe some incremental things as episodes of The Bad Batch are released. You know, that's certainly a possibility, but nothing that's particularly percolating right now. From, again, just to remind you, or if you're new to the show, when we talk about merch, we look at it from a story perspective because there are usually little interesting blurbs on the packaging for, you know, action figures and vehicles and whatnot that kind of give us some insights into character and storytelling and that sort of thing. And on the park side of the thing, if you are interested in going to Galaxy's Edge, either in Florida or in California, well... It seems like it's just about all systems go in Florida. They did talk in the investor call about continuing to operate at a reduced capacity in Florida for the second quarter, but you know, from you know people who've been talking to me and saying they've been at Galaxy's Edge in you know, just the recent last couple of weeks, it sounds like capacity is going up. Not necessarily to full 100% capacity necessarily, but that it is rising. And on the California side of things, they are still operating at limited capacity but later this month they are supposed to be removing the requirement that you be a California resident to go to Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland in California and they're also doing a phased reopening of various hotels and spas that they have there and I think the main Disneyland hotel is not actually supposed to be doing its phased reopening until July 2nd but I think a couple other places are supposed to be opening in June and again at reduced capacity. And so there you go. There's the rundown on what we have to look forward to in Star Wars storytelling this month. And 
that is going to do it for this episode of the show as well. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it, as always, and may the Force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items, are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, by their respective trademark and copyright holders, may the Force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.